today's evening devotional. More blessed to give. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Read the story of the widow of Sarepta. To this woman in a heathen land God sent his servant in time of famine to ask for food. Wonderful was the hospitality shown to God's prophet by this Phoenician woman, and wonderfully were her faith and generosity rewarded. God has not changed. His power is no less now than in the days of Elijah. To his faithful servants today as well as to his first disciples Christ's words apply, He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Matthew chapter 10 verse 40. No act of kindness shown in his name will fail to be recognized and rewarded. And in the same tender recognition Christ includes even the feeblest and lowliest of the family of God. Whosoever shall give to drink, he says, unto one of these little ones, those who are as children in their faith and their knowledge of Christ, a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Matthew chapter 10 verse 42. Poverty need not shut us out from showing hospitality. We are to impart what we have. There are those who struggle for a livelihood and who have great difficulty in making their income meet their necessities, but they love Jesus in the person of his saints and are ready to show hospitality to believers and unbelievers trying to make their visits profitable. At the family board and the family altar the guests are made welcome. The season of prayer makes its impression on those who receive entertainment, and even one visit may mean the saving of a soul from death. For this work the Lord makes a reckoning, saying, I will repay. Man doth not live by bread only, and as we impart to others our temporal food, so we are to impart hope and courage in Christ-like love. And the assurance is ours, God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that yet, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work.